Thomas the Tank Engine is proud of his new branch line. He thinks it's the most important part of the Northwestern Railway. And his friend Twilight, along with his two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, agree with him. Annie can only take passengers, but Clarabelle can take passengers, luggage, mail, and the conductor. They are both old and need new coats of paint. But Thomas and Twilight both love them very much. As they run backwards and forwards along the line, they would sing songs to each other. When Thomas leaves the station, he would sing, Oh, come along, we're rather late. Oh, come along, we're rather late. And Twilight and the coaches would sing back, We're coming along, we're coming along. They don't mind what Thomas says to them, because they know that he's trying to please Sir Top and Hat. They also know, too, that if Thomas is cross, he is not cross with them. One day, they were at Ellsbridge Station waiting for Henry and Fluttershy's train, which made Thomas very cross. How can I run my branch line properly, Twilight, if Henry and Fluttershy are always late? They don't realize that Sir Topham Hat depends on both of us. Look, Thomas, I know they've been late meeting us lately, but Fluttershy says she's doing everything she can to help Henry. Thomas just whistled impatiently. He wanted to leave, but he knew that they had to wait for Henry's passengers. At last, Henry and Fluttershy arrived. Where have you and Fluttershy been up to, Lazy Bones? Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer. That's complete rubbish. <gasps> You're too slow lately. You need to exercise more often. When the passengers were aboard, and when the conductor blew his whistle, Thomas started up so quickly that he left him behind. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here! The conductor waved his red flag to stop Thomas, but he was already steaming his way out of Ellsbridge. Come along, girls. But Clarabelle didn't want to come along. I can't 
can't believe this. I've lost my nice conductor. Annie tried to tell Thomas what had happened. Thomas, stop. We don't have our conductor. But he was in a hurry and was too busy to listen. Annie and Clarabelle tried to put on their brakes, but they couldn't without their conductor. Where's our conductor when we need him? But Thomas didn't stop till they came to a red signal. Bother that signal. Twilight, what's going on? I don't know, Thomas. Our conductor will tell us in a minute. So they waited and waited, but the conductor didn't come out. Goodness me! Where is the conductor? We left him behind! Well, that's just great. Just great. Everyone looked, and there he was running as fast as he could with his flags in one hand and his whistle in the other. He was very hot and tired, so he sat down and had a quick drink. then told them all about what happened. I'm very sorry, sir. It wasn't your fault, Thomas. It was the old lady's umbrella I tripped over. <laughs> Look, the signal's down. We can go now. <sighs> Finally, let's make up for lost time. Annie and Clara were so pleased to have their conductor again that they let Thomas speed along all the way. Soon, they reached Farquhar's station at the end of the line, quicker than ever before. <laughs> <laughs>